Hi everybody again, Chris Agaseth here, welcoming you to the video podcast about wheelchair hunting. One of the real nice opportunities I get in this podcasting business is making the acquaintance of some very good people. Bryce Mann in California, who owns Bryce Mann's Gun Dogs, has taken care of setting up a hunt for disabled people, wheelchair bound people who have maybe never had a chance to hunt but really would like to have one chance to shoot a ring neck. He gets a bunch of kids from the local high school, put them together with some nice pointing dogs, and you have the following show. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to you when it's over. I had a spinal cord injury about six years ago in a motorcycle accident. I wasn't going to go back out hunting. About five years ago, I was invited to this event, and I've had such a great time, I keep coming back every year. Around is the ones that are it's a fantastic hunt for me personally. It's uh, an opportunity to get out and work with some of the best bird dogs in the area, perhaps in the nation. Great to have the community support of the, of the area people. I'm looking forward to a great day of hunting and uh, a little fresh pheasant on the table tonight. This started years ago through the Department of Fish and Game, a gentleman named Doug Bowman. He's in charge of all the different family hunts and uh, junior hunts and those type of hunts that go on in this region. We met out in Chowchilla at one of the uh, landowners out here, one of their alfalfa fields, and uh, we checked it out to see if you know, we could get some chairs through the fields with some help and just how much the struggle it was going to be. And it's a great time out here. We get uh, local uh, high school kids that come out from the football team and baseball team and they provide the muscle to get the, the hunters through the fields and um, we get dog handlers and their dogs from up and down the state to come out and uh, they donate their time and it's great to see the dogs work and go on point and flush the birds and hopefully we can hit a few. I'd like to welcome everybody to the uh, persons dependent upon a wheelchair pheasant hunt. It gives the people in a wheelchair an opportunity to go pheasant hunting. It's a, it's a unique opportunity for a lot of them. It's the only chance a lot of them will ever have to hunt pheasants for the whole year. I have a lot of volunteers to make this thing successful. I have volunteers with uh, some of the best pointing dogs in the, in the valley. I have volunteers from the Chowchilla High School who actually push the wheelchair hunters through the field. I have a Modesto Breakfast Lions Club here to provide lunch for the people and I have the Fresno County Sportsman's Club who's going to clean and uh, pick and clean the birds for the people, pack them in ice and give them a nice chest to go home with. If you're down low, it's better, you know, because these guys, it's not like somebody standing and shooting. The gun's not up here, the gun's way down here because they're in a sitting position. Okay. So kind of get down, get, stay back behind them and get down. Everything's, but the whole thing is we want everything to first of all be safe, second of all be fun, okay, for everybody. Some years back, I, I received a conference call from Greg Marks and Doug Bowman, they'd been out and looked at a field of young alfalfa and put together an idea to get hunters uh, that are dependent on a wheelchair out on a pheasant hunt. They contacted me and asked me if, if I thought it was doable. And I said, sure. Taking these guys out through a field of young alfalfa is a, is a little, it's a very strenuous, but it makes, a, makes a, a something, a hunt possible that these guys wouldn't normally be able to do. We have trained pointing dogs with their handlers. Uh, the, the, these dogs, they have to be uh, steady to wing and shot and be able to hold that bird on the ground because it, obviously it takes a little time to get some of these hunters up into position on the dogs. The dog handlers do the setups for the hunt. The, the dog gets in position, they make a, a, a safe approach on the birds, they put the hunters in the position where they think they'll have the best shot. Clear down this way a little bit more so we don't go back and forth, and then we'll, we'll just go drive that yeah, right back there. That way. I've had uh, Britneys and Labs and Pointers and uh, uh, the Llewellyn's offered uh, uh, a new challenge for me, uh, a new experience with a new dog. Very good instinctive dogs pointing, uh, backing each other. Uh, they're fun to watch, beautiful dogs to watch in the field. I really enjoy seeing people uh, get birds and uh, shoot some birds, especially first time hunters. It's, uh, it's a real blessing to me to, uh, to be a part of that because it's a real experience. Isn't that a pretty bird? Look at that. 
That's that's one that that's almost one worth mountain right there. Here we go, on point. There you go. Dead bird. Good shot. Greg. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Abby, come. Trigger, here. Good girl, Abby, come. I like it when there's never a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Like right there. there we go. Let's let the guy. All right. Come on, boy. Nice feathers. All right. That's what it's all about. Um, I come out here since three years ago and been doing this ever since. And it's just a fun experience helping these people. This is my first year out here helping out these guys. Pretty good experience. Hope I do it next three years. Catch him up! Dead bird! With my amputation and my spinal cord injury and my heart condition, it's hard for me to get out and do much uh, other hunting, so this is a special time each year, and I thank the fishing game for, and uh, the dog handlers for making this possible. We'd like to try and get events like this started throughout the state of California, not just here in Central California, but in Northern and Southern also, so we can get other disabled hunters out into the field. The shooting was fantastic today. The shooter wasn't so fantastic. The dogs were great. The shooter wasn't so great. Uh, two up, two down, then we worked, worked our tails off for the last one. His first well, time hunting, and he got his two. This I owed out to the, to the dog <laughs> and to her. He did very well. Very yep, good. I'm proud of him. Well, that's the show. What'd you think? Pretty interesting, I thought. Seeing the disabled folks have those opportunities, seeing how so many people came together to make it happen. I really enjoyed watching them and seeing the happiness on their faces when they got their ring necks. So our sport is made up of a lot of really good people and we need to continue to emphasize the good parts of it. People like Bryce who go out of their way to go do good things for other people, that's what I really want to emphasize. So drop by his website too, he's a good guy. He's also active in the North American Gun Dog Association. And in a future podcast, you're going to actually see Bryce in the field with his dogs hunting and competing with them. So until later, I'm Chris Hagaseth. Thanks for viewing.